Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, this is going to be a haul from Shopco and their clearance closing, um, clearance items and, and then the store's closing down so I had to go back. I think I've gone a couple times and now they're like up to 75 or 70% 70 off so. And I've gotten one thing from eBay that I've been waiting for and I've got a couple more things coming in but you know, you know how that is. It's already been like a month and a half so. This one took like... Oh, the end of January, yeah. It's just a little left. Uh, detail brush. Um, if you've seen in my last video some of the nail art that I've made, I know it's a long video, but you know, yeah, I had to get some of my stuff. People have been asking me what I've made and stuff, so I've got this um, detail brush, and it's in triple zero, and you know, it's just a cheap brush, basically. And oops. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to glue it. But for what I want to do for it, it's going to work. It's really soft, though. It's not, um, it does not feel like, like, synthetic, you know, fibers, which is awesome because, yeah. But I'm hoping this will do the trick because the last one I bought wasn't quite small enough. And I need a really tiny detail brush for what I need to do with some of the pieces that I make. I don't know, I could cut it down and I end up ruining brushes that way. So I'm going to try this one. It was only 20 cents. I wanted on a bid. So, you know, 20 cents and I waited like two months. So I guess I can't complain. You know what I'm saying? So I got that. Okay, on to the shock co. Okay, let's stick with the brushes. So I picked up this um, Eco's Tool, Eco Tools um, Bamboo Angled Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to use this as a cleanup brush because, you know, if anybody that knows me, I don't really wear makeup. It's very rare that I do, unless I'm like, it's a special occasion or something. But, you know, I, all natural is my thing. But I thought this would be really cool. Um, a cleanup brush, you know, when you paint your nails and stuff. And it's really soft. And that's what I like about it. And... This was marked down to 70% off, so I paid less than a dollar. I think it may have been like 40 cents for one of these. You know, and these are normally three something at Shopco. So, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I picked that up. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to... I grabbed another pack of these. This is the last ones that they had. And I paid even less for them this time. I paid like 27 cents for them, and I paid a dollar... 50 some I think for them last time and I just loved these so I had to get some more of them and they're you know they said like 10 count invitations over here but they're blank on the inside which is awesome so yeah I had to grab these I love 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 the colors and you know the little sparkle and so yeah grab those <coughs> and then I checked out their stickers and they had a bunch of like boy stickers and stuff but you know, my kids get enough stickers. I have two boys, so yeah. Wasn't trying to get boy stickers. <laughs> but I did find these really cute Hello Kitty ones, and they're the poofy. I don't know if you can see that. You see how poofy they are? So I grabbed the last package of these, and I paid like, I don't know, maybe 30 cents for them. And there's, there's, um, yeah, there's 28, so there's two sheets of these. So I grabbed those. I thought those were pretty cute. I could use those for, you know, friend mail and stuff, swaps. And then I grabbed these super adorable owl stickers. And these were like, I don't know, 30 cents also. And you get, what is it, three sheets? And there's, so there's 51 stickers. And these are just adorable. Too, too cute. So I grabbed those. So those are those. Um, I grabbed some more of these, some more tape. And these are actual duct tape. I can't see it, but so normal price is $2.99. It was marked down to $1.79. And then final clearance price was $0.17. Cents. And they only had one of these, so I had to grab it. It's really cool chevron color, or chevron pattern, and these, you know, bright colors. I thought these were really good spring, summer colors. And they had like five or six of these, and I only wanted one, honestly. I mean, it was really pretty cool, and there's quite a bit in here, so, in my opinion, for what I've paid for it, you know, here's, yeah. This will go a long way. So, I just grabbed two of these, 
Um, oops. Let's see. And then I picked up some cuticle uh, massage cream by Sally Hansen. And these were originally $5.99. They were marked down to, um, <coughs> excuse me, like three something. Final price was, I think, 87 cents. And I've already tried it out and used it. And, yeah, it, it's pretty, you know, it works pretty good. I mean, it's, it's got, like, apricot oil in it. And so I'm going to try this out and see how it works because my cuticles are always dry. And I've got friends going, girl, you need to do something with cuticles. So, okay, there you go. I'm trying. <laughs> and then I picked up... The rest that they had of these um, Trendy Tools uh, scented nail polish remover pads, and there's a 32 count, 32 piece in here. And I got one in cherry, I got one in apple, one in blueberry, and one in strawberry. And I already opened up the cherry one because I wanted to try them out. And these were originally $2.49. They were marked down to $1.49, and I got them for 27 cents. Yes. So, so yeah, I'd already tried these. Um, when you first open them, though, it's like you don't, they're not saturated, but that's fine because it's like, I was like, I wondered, oh, that's why they're, you know, they're all dried out, but they're not. If you, you see, it's working. So, and you could tell, like, on my finger that there is, you know, liquid on them, which is pretty awesome. And it's not, it doesn't dry out my fingers. And I've got like, you know, this glitter polish on, so. See? And you can see that, you know, they are they're pretty well um moist. They just didn't feel it, you know, when you first open it up and you're like, uh. Oh. And this one smells like cherries. It's got like a nice little scent to it. It's not overpowering. It doesn't smell like nail polish remover or any chemicals or anything. It just, you know, smells like cherries. So yeah, I'm kinda glad I grabbed these, so I got different ones to try, so that was pretty cool. And as you can see, you know, it took off my nail polish. Ta-da! <laughs> so it works, which is pretty awesome. Okay, and the last things I picked up from... Oh, <coughs> wait a minute here. I grabbed these um, glow-in-the-dark tattoos. Okay, and I got, like, two sheets. And you can see here... Super cute designs. No, I don't wear temporary tattoos, but I had an idea um, using them for nail art. And I know they're really big, but you know, you can cut out certain ones and put it on your nail or whatever. And I had already tried those. I had some more temporary tattoos that I hadn't opened yet. And um, here's this one. I used like a regular polish and then I put like a gel top or a gel layer on top and then um, I put the uh, tattoo in water kind of like a water decal in you know and then just kind of stuck it on it took me some time to get used to it but it turned out pretty good I mean if you take your time and yeah so I thought that was pretty cool so you can use temporary tattoos as nail art so there you go okay and then last but not least I grabbed of course, nail polish. I didn't get to Walmart this weekend, so yeah. Okay, so I got this basic, you know, the basic black cream. You can never have enough black. 99 cents down to 69 cents. And I paid like um, 10 cents for it. And this is the last one they had. Or I probably would have picked up more. <laughs> so just black. And then I grabbed um, these uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant um, Gloss Teenies. And these are the minis, of course, but... The normal price on these are, at Shopco anyway, were almost $4. And I'm like, not for minis. But then they had a marked down to, um, to something. And the final price that I picked them up for was, um, $0.78. Cents. <laughs> yeah. So I grabbed all the ones, all, every color, except I think they had a darker color. But this color right here, and I've did swatches of them. This one is, um... Scalding Emerald number uh, 635. It's 
It's a really pretty green color. It's got some greens and some golds and a hint. And I'm talking the faintest hint maybe of some red. But yeah, it was really pretty. And then I grabbed this one. This one is um, seared bronze uh, 630. And again, this is like a coppery, bronzy, goldy color. It was really pretty. I was very happy with these, and especially for the price of them. I just, like, oh my god. This one was kind of gorgeous, actually. Um, <laughs> this one's uh, Sulfur Blaze, number 600. And it's just a beautiful, um, like a yellowy gold. It's very bright. I mean, it does not show up true color on camera, that's for sure. So there's the swatch of that. So yeah, I love that one. I can use those as some of my nail art. And then this one is kind of like a purpley color. And it's called uh, Violet Flicker, number 625. And this is what I have on this hand, actually. And this is two coats on my hand and three coats on the swatch. And I just thought it was awesome. I mean, it's just a really, it's got like a little hints of uh, blue... And maybe a tiny bit of like a pinky purple and I don't know. It's just loveliness in a bottle. And the last one is called Pyro Pink. And I thought this was beautiful too. This is three coats on the swatch and then I have, except for that one of course, <laughs> um, on my fingers is like two coats. So you could see like, you know, kind of like a difference. It's darker here. But these are beautiful. And you know, for the price, I could not pass those up. So, that's my little haul from Shopco, and this will probably be my last one, because I'm not sure exactly when the store's closing. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.